Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will see use of input box function. Input box function display a message box and it accept input in the form of string from the user. It also display title bar and default text in input box. So let's see use of input box function. When we click on this show input box button, one input box will be display and it accept string from the user and based on that it will display message box. So let's double click and generate click event of this button. Now to store the message which is entered by the user. Now to store the message which is entered by the user in input box we are declaring one variable team message as string now we are assigning value to message variable from input box which can be accessed using microsoft dot visual basic dot dot input box this function accepts certain parameter first is the prompt which what you want to prompt i want to prompt enter your message Second parameter is a title for the input box. I want to display message. Third is the default text which we want to display in text box. I want to display enter your message. Fourth and fifth parameter are position of input box. I am not writing position of input box. Now I am checking if message is entered or not. So if message is not null then message box message else message box entered nothing. Now let's run. We are clicking on the input box button. You can see input box is displayed. Title is message. Prompt is enter your message and default text is enter your message we are entering this is input and click on the ok we can see message is displayed this is input so this is about input box function and how to use that function in application thank you